well it's not going anywhere really is it you know I think on June the 24th when the final result came in um, I think the uh, the Brexiters had as big a shock as the Remainers did because uh, uh, no one envisaged us leaving but we've left and what I find disappointing is the fact that it doesn't appear that anyone had got a plan B in place for if we did vote to leave and we're now having to scramble to make up that position uh, ready to invoke Article 50 early next year. It hasn't impacted on us as the Remain campaign has said it was going to. So I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as bad as they tried to make us believe that it was. Can't see any difference. No difference whatsoever. No. We won't know until it actually happens, will we? They come up with the odd thing which sounds as though it might be beneficial to us, but to be quite honest, nothing concrete. I mean, you listen to the television to a point until you've heard enough of it, then you've got to turn it off for a few days and sort of clear your head. But it's, uh, I've, I've never seen or heard of anything that's beneficial at the minute. I'm just hoping that... No, I think we should... Uh, you know, There's a lot of people clamouring for us to press, press the Article 50 button. We shouldn't do that, in my opinion, until we're ready, until we're absolutely sure in which direction we wish to go. I think they've got to try and get the best deal possible for us, but I don't think it's going to impact greatly on our trade with Europe. People still want our quality products.